Hello and welcome to the 42nd episode of Jim's Raw Cooking. Today, if I can get the camera right, we will be making um, melt in the middle chocolate puddings. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get our little dishes, little basins, and we're going to get a little piece of butter. And we're going to try and fail to. Uh, Butter the uh, the thing, uh, the little basins. So we're doing this so um, the uh, they don't stick to the basins, so we can turn them out and make our melt in the middle chocolate puddings. So just uh, greasing each one, just rubbing the piece of butter. Around the um, the basins. Who do do? Uh, we redo this one a bit, but. I've chosen a, a picture with a bit too much butter, but uh, it's alright, it's going to be well greased. And we'll just go around this one again. Alright, so that's about ready. Um, pop that on there for the moment. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to get 100 grams of chocolate, and we're going to, well, first of all, we're going to get this pan and pour some reasonably hot water into it. Not too much, we can always top it up. I'm going to test it with the bowl. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, the pan. Um, I'm just going to go pop this on the hob. On a fairly low heat. Um, and while we're doing that, we're just going to break up our chocolate into pieces. This is just uh, 100 grams of dark chocolate. Definitely haven't eaten any of this before I started. Never ever. There you go. Okay, so that's all broken up. We're now going to uh, whiz over here. We'll pop that on there. And um, with a heat like that, maybe a little bit higher, we should start to uh, melt the chocolate. If I bring it over here. So, is there anything we can do while that's happening? Uh, no. Alright, so um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, just washing it melt. It's starting to melt now, which is good. So this should do it quite gently and smoothly. We're just going to keep moving this round as it melts. No rushing here, we don't want to burn it. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just prodding it. Ooh, it looks tasty. So I think this is going to make the middle. I've not, I have no idea, I don't need to look at the recipe. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're watching that melt. Alright, um so that's mostly melted, but I'll, uh, I'll come back to you 
once it's finished. Alright, so um, uh, it's pretty much there now. It's all melted. I can't see any more pieces. It's all nice and molten and gooey. Um, so I, I'm going to turn off the heat. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it for 15 minutes to cool slightly before we add all the rest of our ingredients. Um, while it's doing that, I'm going to take it off the... Uh, oh. Okay, I'll take that off there <laughs> while I'm waiting. Also, as it turns out, I'm supposed to melt the butter as well, so um, I'm going to very quickly get a, uh, another bowl and I'm going to chop the butter off into there. It's 100 grams of butter, I think. Yep. Um, I'll chop that up and I'll do that in the microwave. It should have gone in with the, uh, the chocolate, but uh, never mind. So I probably should have chopped it up before I put it in, but never mind. There you go, that should melt. I'm just going to pop that in the microwave. And then I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so um, it's been a few minutes now and our butter is very well melted. I may have left it in for a little bit too long. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pour that in there and mix that together. Nice chocolatey buttery mess. All right, so now that we've got that and it's been cooling down for a few minutes, it's not very warm now. Well, it is a bit, but um, I'm going to put in the sugar. Do a bit at a time. So it's 150 grams of a uh, light brown sugar. It should be. I have them rarer sugar, but close enough. I think I can see why it should be a uh, soft light brown sugar because um, this is going to end up quite granulated. Um, which is probably not ideal, but eh, it'll be alright. Okay, so what we're going to do the eggs. Which I'm going to crack into these balls first. So I can pick out any shells. There you go. Because I don't have enough confidence to do it the first time. Get off, get off, get off. There you go. Okay, so just one egg at a time. That's one. With all of the egg, you can wipe all of it. Already. Ah. Oh, 
that's tiring. Alright, so that one's pressed on now. Oh. Let's hope this one's a little bit nicer. Came out alright. And then. Let's see. If this one mixes in nicely. So um, I think that's pretty much there now. Oh, that was fun. Um, okay, so we're gonna do vanilla extract. Um, I don't really have vanilla extract, but I have vanilla paste. This is probably close enough. Oh, okay. Wish I'd done that much left off. I used this in uh, last in the snow ice cream. <laughs> I think I've got all of it out anyway. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit in there. I suppose it'll be alright. Not too vanilla for me though. Alright. So that's mixed in. Let me just check uh, what we're doing next. Okay, we're now doing the flour, of which there is, let me check, 50 grams. Um, if you were doing proper vanilla extract, you should have put in half a teaspoon, but uh, never mind. Also, one thing I probably forgot to mention at the beginning was preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. There you go. Hopefully you've not gotten to this point and then you're gonna have to wait, so. Sorry. So yes, we're doing the flour now. Kind of getting there. I've made some kind of chocolatey mess. It's probably tasty. Alright, so we stir it for a little bit more. Make sure everything's mixed in nicely. There you go, why not? That's fine. Um, so my oven is up to temperature now as well, which is good. My spoon has got lots of mixture on it. Um, Alright, so. There you go. I'm gonna see if I can pour it into them. Uh, probably just gonna see if I can pour it like this. Can you see that all right? There you go. Alright, so let's start from this side. Let's pour a bit into each one to start off with. That's three, and that is four. Oh, just enough for this size, which is good. Uh, I've got a little bit extra, so I'm going to go around again. I hope that they don't rise too much. They shouldn't do. This is just plain flour um, that we're using. So 
so it probably won't rise too much. No baking powder or anything in it. Um, this is gluten-free flour though. You can probably use normal flour if your sister doesn't have a an annoying disease or intolerance to wheat. Um, see if I can scrape it more out. There you go. All right. I will lick the ball in a minute. Which is not what you should do because it's got egg in it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly mop up that a little bit. We don't really want it burning in the tray. Um, there you go. So we've got our four, hopefully soon to be, melt in the middle chocolate puddings. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the oven, which is 200 degrees Celsius, and there's a tray already in there. Why is there a tray already in there? I'll be back once I sort this out. All right, so I've uh, sorted that out. And now I'm going to put in my pudding. Hopefully, I have not checked, but, uh, well, because we didn't have any other dishes, but hopefully those dishes won't explode. Um, hopefully at least. And I will see you in approximately 12 minutes according to the recipe. But it may be a little bit longer. So basically you should be waiting until um, Tops are firm to the touch, but the edges feel squidgy, according to BBC Good Food. Alright, I'll be back after that. Alrighty, so it's been about 15-ish um, minutes, and I think they're probably ready. They've risen a little bit, not quite what I expected, but uh, there you go. Should be alright. So I'm going to turn off the other one. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get them out and into a bowl. Not that you can see them now, but uh, there you go. Oh wait. There you go. Bring it over a bit. Amazing camera work. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this one that's kind of uh, exploded a little bit. And I'm going to attempt to cut it out. So I've got a grip on it. There you go. So I'm going to get a knife. Run it around the edge. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Come on. It's not quite all together, but that's kind of half the point. So, uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just wrecking it now. Oh. Get out. Oh. Alright, so that's, that's kind of got there, that one. It looks quite chocolatey. <laughs> the hardest part is that the fact that these are so hot still. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to let them cool down that much. Let me just check the recipe. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's straight away. Alright, so I'll try on again on the next one. I'll try this one next. around the outside of the knife. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be a winner. Come on. Oh, look at it. Wow. Look at that. It's like a proper... Oh, hot. Oh, ow, oh. Look at that. I made a thing. Wow. Tom would be proud. I hope. Oh, that actually turned out well. I'm happy, I'm happy about that. Alright. These weren't so awkward to pick up, that'd be nice. So I guess you can do them in kind of different sized dishes, different shapes. But, um, and they'll probably take different times to cook depending on each one. So, um, you have a thinner kind of dish, like a, something else, then that might take a little bit less time. But mine took about 15 16 minutes. 
and they seem to have come out right. I've not cut any of open yet. And it's made four. So, um, sorry about this. Uh, hopefully, they're going to be reasonably molten on the inside. Oh dear. There you go, that's all of them out. This dish is going to take a little bit of washing. But, let's take the, uh, the neatest one, which is this one. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Alright. Is it going to be molten? Place your bets now. Alright, it's not very molten. I've probably overdone them. <laughs> probably a little bit less time next time. But, it is a cake. And that's going to be tasty. I may have another go in the future. See if I can actually get it molten. But that is fairly squidgy, I would say. More squidgy than your average cake. And um, yeah, well, let's have a taste. It's not too ridiculously hot. It might be that some of the others are a bit more molten. Let's have a look. Uh, this one's a little bit more molten. This one. It's a little more squidgy. So that one's that one's that one wins. That has become a molten chocolate cake. Most in the middle. All right, I'm gonna claim this one now. I'm gonna taste this little piece. Mmm. Mm. Certainly tastes like a chocolate cake. Um, what I would recommend, although I don't have any, I would recommend uh, cream or ice cream. I do have ice cream, but I need to go get it. Um, yeah. And that, that would make a very nice pudding for four people. Wow. All right. So um, thank you to, for thank you to Tom for recommending this to me. Um, if you have any other recommendations for me to make, uh, please let me know. This was the 42nd episode of Jim's World Cooking. Uh, yeah. Bye.